Go ahead, put it on real tight. I hope you brought your best tonight. They say they got the fireworks, yeah, they say they got the show. Here around the shoots, you're the best, so let's go. This is Texas Toast. I'm your host, Miss Helen. Kick back and enjoy as we toast the best from Texas. Welcome to Texas on Tap with Miss Helen, along with producer Kyle. And I just feel like we've been chit chatting away before we even jumped on here. It's like it's just always so good when we have our time together. Like it gets me focused and centered yeah. and away from all the craziness. <laughs> Knocking out a little business, catching up on all the stuff yes. we've been up to. It's nice. Yes. And so um, we got some music to talk about. We're gonna go ahead. I guess we'll just go ahead and jump into music first and then talk yeah. about some other things after that. Mm. Um, I have three picks released to radio for this week. Um, first, we do want to talk about the Wilder Blue. They just released a new song called Picket Fences. The sound is the wonderful sound of the Wilder Blue. Mm -hmm. But you, did you know, of course, Zane wrote this song and it's actually based on a true story from his, his uncle's farm that he spent time on as oh, a wow. kid and that as an adult in, sense. in Tennessee. And the whole thing is true story. Like in the 1920s, his granddad did carve his initials um, on where he's talking about that in the song. And then that recently sold. But when I first heard the song, it took me back to my home place mm -hmm. and like my childhood, not seeing the backstory on the song. Right. I mean, it's just one of those songs that just kind of takes you away and gets you in that simple life world, totally. like, like their music can do. So the Wilder also Blue. I was going to say, it's also epic. It's like, I want to just see them play that song over and over again at Red Rocks. <laughs> yes. And so it's already out to radio and it's already moving and getting ads, of course. And so now I, I'm going to talk about a, a new group and uh, they're called, the name of the group is Chase the Night. The name of the song is Fire. And they're actually a Katy based band. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. Yes. And so they have been playing a lot and a lot of cover stuff. And they did mm. have another single that had been released to radio. But I was super excited when I heard this one, just to mainly it caught my attention because they're Katie based and right. secondly just because of the old school sound of the song it's just such a dance hall it just kind of takes me back to the years where I was dancing every weekend so chase the night and the name of the song is fire it's a yeah. really good one it's a good great solid song, song. Mm -hmm. yeah they've great. got something really cool in the works great lyrics great harmony and great music now I have I, I get excited about our tap room picks, but this one, <laughs> like Ariel Hutchins has a new radio single out. It's called Stuck. And we're gonna take a listen to it right now. Ariel Hutchins, it's stuck. Now, if that one doesn't get you, turn in your music up as loud as you can play it. I just love how it goes from the slow and then the pick me up when she's talking mm -hmm. about the happy stuff. Yeah. So I'm actually stuck on that song. Sorry. Um, but no, I, I, go ahead. Sorry. I'm excited too. I, yes, I know you are. We were talking about it before we actually started like officially recording, but wow, it's just, it's just such a fun song. Yeah, it's and, a masterpiece. Yes, yeah, I, like I told is. you, I, I listened to it like four times through on the way home uh, just now. And it's like starts off with this jazzy lounge vibe. And it's almost like it, this is so silly, but it made me think of like sitting in an old jazz lounge, like in the 50s or something, you know, and it's like mm -hmm. you said, it's got that slow thing. And then it picks up into this like amazing me melody in the chorus. And it just it never yes. stops. And then it just is. once it dies, it comes together. And it just resolves so perfectly. And but it's but it's oh like you man. know, and I think it's like when she you know moves into that that the upbeat part. It's like it's the happy stuff, mm -hmm. you know. And it's like it's a great sing along song. I Absolutely. mean, like I'm already singing along to it. So I love that one from Ariel. Hundred percent, such a good song. I'm, I will be listening to that one quite a bit for the next Me couple too. weeks. Me too. Me too. And so okay. all my girls. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, I'll get my boys listening to it too. Believe me. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm gonna keep it rolling. Um, let's keep the doors open or the tap flowing. I guess you could say with uh, Tanner Usray. I'm not sure if we've ever actually covered one of his songs, but I've been a big fan of him for a while. I got to see him out at uh, LJT uh, earlier this year in Stephenville, and um, he just put out a new song to streaming today called "Take Me Home." So let's uh, let's check out this brand new song from Tanner Usray. Take me home.
brand new from Tanner. He's got a lot yeah. of cool stuff coming out already this year. I'm sure he's got all kinds of cool stuff coming up. And speaking of that, we will get to talk to him about that in just a few weeks because he's yes, coming on the we show. Yes, we will. I'm excited. So that's going to be lots of fun. Uh, this song just really grabbed me. It's It's got this, you know, warm acoustic intimacy thing at the beginning. And then out of nowhere, the band comes in and it just gets mm-hmm. huge. Um, it, this is like super dorky, like typical Kyle thing. But I I always wonder if this type of thing happens intentionally or if it's just how the song came out of Tanner or, you know, whoever he wrote it with, but the verses are in seven. So normally songs are, you know, and divided by three or four, whenever you're like tapping or counting or whatever, but the verses you count to seven or you you can count three and then four, (laughs) like I said, dorky, sorry, but that's just so fascinating to me whenever that happens. So I'm going to ask him whenever we have him on, if that was just, you know, how it happened or if he was like, Oh, I want to write some verses in seven. Um, anyways, tangent ended. Yeah. Sorry. Um, but, uh, no, no, but, but now, now to go to my dorky side, I, I just grin at how he ends this song with the baby yeah. on the way and a dog in the yard. I yeah. Just, it's like that song. That's great. It's just, it's just got that perfect little package with it's the bow so on cute. it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Totally. Yeah. I am. Um, I was going to mention, I wish there's one thing I wish they would have done and spent a little bit more time getting those drums dialed in because all the other tones sounded great. Um, I just I felt the need to point that out there because the song was so rocking and like, you know, it, it had the highs and lows dynamically. So um, other than that, it's, I thought it was really, really well done. And then I'm going to move on to our good buddy, John Stork. He just dropped a new one today called Fast Horse. Um, oh, my gosh. And so this song's kind of like a little bit more tame than the last two singles he's put out. And we still don't have a uh, still don't have a release date for John's record. But he um, actually here Sheldon texted me who he wrote this one with. Let's see. Yeah, he wrote this song with uh, Wyatt McCubbin and Carson Chamberlain. See, I'm doing my due diligence, kind of trying to figure out who they're writing these songs with. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can just tell a lot of work went into the actual songwriting part of this of this tune. Like the chord progressions are real interesting. The chorus comes in on a you know not a like not the root chord of the key that they're playing in. So back to the dorky stuff, I guess. But you know, I this is a, this is more of a songwriter song for sure yes. than and, some of and, the others and the thing that i saw with this one is knowing john and where he comes from and his background mm-hmm. this is such a this is such a i guess i don't know how, how to put it it's like it's just in john's makeup i mean it's like yeah. where he, you know coming from sure. Beasley and coming from, it just it's kind of a throwback to the music he grew up with definitely and it's a theme yes. for sure too on this i mean at least of the three singles he's released so far you know it's like the first song was you can blame it on my blood so clearly he's yes. trying to send us a message and roots, uh, roots. that's what I, blood roots yes right. this, this reminded me of something that when i was going to fort Bend county fair back in the day or going to the dances mm-hmm. and dance halls that you would hear something like that so that's, absolutely i just see i just see his 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 home his i don't know i can't even talk today his roots <laughs> that's all i can say yeah. is there you go knowing yeah. where he comes from knowing where uh, he comes from Absolutely. And I'm sure we'll get John back on the show too, once we've got maybe a release date for the upcoming album and get to talk about that. Maybe we'll hear some stories about these songs individually rather than, you know, the kind of whole, whole motive for the the project. Right. Um, and then my last pick this week's a big one. Parker McCollum just dropped a new one, or I guess a little over a week ago, but it's called Handle on You. And uh, this one's like unique as heck. He, it's like, he took this super like, like I want to say like stupid traditional approach to it and not in a bad way. Like it's, it's really good. It did take a minute to grow on me because it's got this thing kind of similar to John to Stork's stuff where it's like, or at least this, this new fast horse song, it's got the really straight drums and it's got like the, the 12 string or the Nashville six or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, it's Mm -hmm. just, it sounds like it's straight out of like 1991, you know, and Absolutely. You know, like we've mm-hmm. said every week is probably since we started, it's like the nineties or, or what is, you know, the basis for all the stuff that's coming out these days, or at least a lot of it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, a really, really strong song from Parker. And obviously every song he's putting out these days is going to be, but I just felt the need to, uh, to mention this one. Cause it's, it's like different, which is, uh, something he hasn't really done. I feel like at least since he kind of, you know, departed from, from our area <laughs> so anyways i i really like the new song from parker it's called handle on you yes it's a and it's a good one i like the verbiage and the lyrics and the wording totally. and the twist and the, all the little twists with it and how oh, he yeah. just threw those little keywords in so i Definitely love parker clever. mccollum he's such a he's awesome absolutely and i do want to mention the um tanner song and john song drops mm-hmm. to streaming today yep 
So they do. So All go right. Check them out. So let's move over to the charts. <laughs> Looking at CD Extraction Texas, number five this week is Jake Bush's Tractor Town. Jesse Robb Jr. went from seven to four with Working Man's Woman. You know, Cody Johnson has a new single out, Human. It's already up to number three. Oh, Flatland yeah. Cal after just a few weeks, Flatland Calvary is holding at number two this week with The Cowboy Knows How. And Casey Donahue, number one again this week with Telling on My Heart. Uh, I do want to mention David Adam Burns went from nine to six with one nice. honky tonk town so he's making he made some moves texas regional radio report number five this week went from 12 to five stranger tonight mickey and the motor cars flatland calvary went from six to four jesse rob jr's held at number three david adam burns went from four to two on this chart with one honky tonk town and casey donahue again holds i mean he's number one on the texas regional radio report he was at number two last week nice. and looking at the texas country music chart I always have all kind of stuff okay number five this week is a josh abbott band number four is jake bush's tractor town the water blue went from two to three this week with wave dancer flatland is went from four to two in casey donahue last week and this week number one telling on my heart so well, that's a look it. at the charts <laughs> nice yeah you did that thing again where you just run through it so fast like an auctioneer it was very impressive oh yeah well okay <laughs> Hey, let's try something different. You were talking about uh, singing songs. Let's let's write a song live on the air. Sorry, that might be a terrible idea. That just popped into my head. No, that would be too funny because you know that's always been my dream. Yeah, I know. For for those of you who have no idea why I said that, Helen was telling me before she's been spending time with her granddaughter and she likes to come up with songs and she was singing something kind of cute and funny before we started recording. Well, so okay. I thought that would be tell hilarious. You, yeah, because we were talking about, well, we were talking about you know Brie and they all mm -hmm. gonna be in Corpus and it's during Labor Day right, weekend right, right. And, and so my I did this little chant with you know that's when a kind of officially unofficially our peak tourist season goes down here mm -hmm. in my little tourist town so I was like yeah I was doing my little rant about <laughs> what Tuesday's gonna represent <laughs> so yeah. anyway yeah gotta make it fun we but, still got a week to brainstorm the song before you present it to me in the world Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're too, but you know what? That's good, Kyle. I mean, uh, it's something I always wanted to either sit in a songwriter session, co write a song, or just like, I don't know. I just, you know, I'm intrigued. I'm so intrigued with songwriters. I always have been yeah. forever and ever. And so that's just such a gift. But that um, would, would be kind of funny. I, I do want to mention this, actually. I, I, Speaking of sitting in on song rights, I sat in on a, on a right the other day and um, I met this girl, Juliana Rankin, for the first time. And she's from the I think she said she was from Shiner originally, but she's based in the New Braunfels area and she's gigging around there all the time. Um, she's actually open for Robert O'Keen and College Station, I think, this weekend, um, which is pretty awesome. But I just wanted to give her a shout out. Anybody who's listening and wants another new artist to go check out. She's like incredible. She's just sitting in the room with her and not being familiar with her music or, you know, how she sounded. She's like writes the most beautiful songs and like her voice is angelic. So anyways, <laughs> throwing that out there. Go check out Juliana Rankin. Yeah. So I guess I'm a, I'm a little distracted because I like to check stuff off my list. Mm -hmm. okay, we're going to talk about the other thing we talked about before we <laughs> officially started recording. I don't even remember so, what yeah. that was at this point. Well, yeah. I'm trying to get the hotel reservations oh, for, yeah, for the yeah, awards. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's like that was my goal today so once we get off here i gotta go back to the site mm -hmm. and try to see what the i probably i don't know Just, yeah it's frustrating you know when you go online I and you want to get something too. done like even if you're trying to buy something or you know make reservations or whatever and it's like First of all, don't tell me what to make my password. Yeah. This password works for me. Don't you hate when they tell you this password? It doesn't have doesn't enough qualify. strength, yeah. or you need to add an asterisk, or you need to no, you need to put more numbers in, or mm -hmm. no, no, just let me do it. Yeah, and just accept it. So that was my first issue trying to get on mm -hmm. my. I couldn't remember my password for my Marriott on whatever it's called. Crap. So. Are you doing doing the same spot as last year? Is that what I should do? Yeah, that's where I'm staying because um, oh the, man, I hope I can get a room. Ho Shit, host, host hotels already booked, and so um, oh god, and it's probably eight hundred dollars a night or something at that bougie hotel. Oh, at Spring Hill. Oh, that's not even what I'm talking about. Isn't that oh, where you there? stayed? 
Yeah, last year I loved it there. That's yeah. what I was saying. No, I'm talking about at the Drover across the street. That's oh, like Drover? a bougie I know. ass hotel. I I'm know. not even gonna look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down to walk up. across the street. <laughs> it's, it's booked up. I guess all the A-listers got. Oh, uh, I'm with. sure. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're looking forward to that, and it's like, yeah. or I'll go know. find a roach coach or something but, down the but, street. But we walked back to Spring Hill. Oh yeah, Hill it was from awesome. There. Yeah. So mm-hmm. all yeah, and I have more comfortable boots to wear this year. No, oh, nice. For some reason, my boots were hurting my feet and we'll get last to, year. We'll probably be pacing ourselves a little bit better too, since we actually like have to work. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just we'll catch up later on. It'll be fun. Yes. Mm-hmm. What day is that again? I don't even know. November thirteenth is the actual awards. Okay, cool. That's a Sunday. Yes. Okay, and yes. Uh, what was I gonna say? Tickets? You could still buy tickets, or is this hold out? I think you can still buy tickets. I saw okay. something the other day posted up on social. So I think you can still get okay. tickets and Sweet. sponsorships like for the program, the mm-hmm. souvenir program, cool. and maybe still have some VIP wristbands. Nice. So Okay, cool. Well, you guys should all buy tickets and come hang out with us because yeah. we'll be and, uh, yeah. chilling. And voting is over. So yeah, now... The grand tada will happen on the 13th. A lot Mm -hmm. of good nominees, a lot of friends of the podcast, a lot of guests we've had on the podcast are nominees. So I'm looking forward to the red carpet and um, that should be interesting. And uh, no, it'll be fun. Last year, last year, it was a little unpredictable for me just because I hadn't seen so well, a lot of people hadn't seen each other in person. Right, right, right. right. And we were still getting to know people too, you know? Yes. And it was like, just, but you know, everybody was just so gracious and like, oh, we know who y'all are. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay, cool. I don't have anything else. I get the, I get the weekend off. I know. I feel like I've just recently said that, but I don't ever really have the weekend off, but I have no shows this weekend. It's real wow. weird. Like, I think I'm going to stay in my house all weekend long. <laughs> Take advantage of it while you can because you yeah. stay on the road and travel so much. Oh, yeah. It's probably my last weekend at home until Christmas. But Plus, it's supposed to be like a rainy weekend. Yeah, I saw that. That's kind of awesome because I could just, just hang out at home like, oh, watch I know. movies and do nothing. You know what we did? You know what we did last weekend when it, we finally got rain here? Oh, yeah. And I mean, we had some bang and storms come uh-huh. through so our little group we got down underneath in the clubhouse you know where the tables and chairs oh, yeah. are about poolside uh-huh. so we were underneath and covered and we watched the thunder and the lightning oh, and the rain awesome. and then one day we threw some heat we threw some fajitas on the pit we had the tunes going and the cocktails flowing oh, all and the rain was coming down <laughs> That sounds awesome. But your friends, the mosquitoes are back. <laughs> yeah, those are not my friends. If I have an enemy on this planet, it's those. <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah, our mosquitoes last weekend, uh, we played at Stingery and in Crystal Beach. And it was actually a lot of fun. There was, it was a packed house, you know, but mosquitoes were, it was almost like people were just tossing bottles of bug spray around everybody. It's just like a big cloud of mist throughout the place the whole time. <laughs> so okay yeah all right um did i freeze on you no oh, okay cool you froze on me all right not, not surprised that means it's time to go okay bye no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um i don't really think i have anything else anything else you want to leave them with Mm-mm. you want to give them the spiel on what they're supposed to do and what we expect of them and what we kindly request of them oh yeah share share <laughs> oh yeah share. that thing <laughs> Share, share, share. Ready, please. But I do have to say, have you seen our numbers on our downloads? Yeah, it's real weird. We had an extreme. The last like the last three weeks though, it's been going up quite a bit. The the weird thing is though, it's people are going back and listening to old episodes, which is still awesome. But it's like, okay, who are you going to listen to? You know. That's cool. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um. Oh, I, I will mention the guests we have this coming week. Well, we had who was last week? Oh God. Oh, Chris. Autumn. Yeah, Ragland. Autumn, yes. Yeah, yes. that was awesome. Sorry, my, my brain's a mess. I'm thinking like three weeks ahead of now. Me right too. Now. I'm always ahead. <laughs> but yeah, so we had Autumn from Ragland on. The great interview. She kind of gave us a bunch of information on like how they recorded their new record and the new stuff that's coming out. And we talked about two of their previous songs. So that was really informational. And then this coming week, we've got a, I guess you could call it a bottoms up coming up with a new friend of mine and of Helen's um, Carly Evans. She's a co-host of the uh, Troubadour podcast. 
and she's been a radio host and she's programmer. another another radio sister yeah so <laughs> she's basically like helen but in a different body um we had so, a, we had a blast we yeah, had a blast before yeah. during and after the podcast yeah absolutely <laughs> it was a lot of fun so definitely look forward to that one next week and then like i said we've got we've got tanner coming up at some point we'll have john coming up at some point shortly um we've got dusty moats coming up shortly too i went, ahead, looking and, forward went to ahead and got him on the calendar after we talked about it last week so yeah cool lots of lots of exciting things that might get us through uh damn we might be booked through tcma at this point we'll see all righty okay cool i'll leave you alone okay <laughs> all right all right have well, a good enjoy weekend. your free time have a good I one i will cheers all right cheers and with a heavy tongue she knew where i was from as she left i dared to say